Welcome back. In the chapter of health programs in India, we were discussing about the national program for control of blindness. In the part 1 of the video, we studied about the introduction that is the program was launched in the year 1976. and the goal was to reduce the prevalence of blindness from 1.4 to 0.3 followed by the objectives and the strategies have already been discussed in the previous uh, video the continuation in the part 2 we will be dealing with the organizational structure in the first place the organization structure that is the administration is divided in the three levels that is central level state level and district level at the central level we have ophthalmology section blindness right we are dealing with the blindness program so at the central level we have ophthalmology section directorate general of health services so the directorate general of health services is at the central level and the third one is the ministry of health and family welfare situated in new delhi so at the central level ophthalmology section directorate general of health services and ministry of health and family welfare new delhi at the state level we have state ophthalmic center a cell directorate general of health services state health societies so here it was ophthalmology section here at the state level we have state ophthalmic cell okay state ophthalmic cell Directorate General of Health Services again Directorate General of Health Services Ministry of Health and Family Welfare New Delhi at the central level here state health societies at the district level district blindness control society district blindness control society here state health societies district district level district blindness control society following the service delivery as well as the referral systems at the three levels are we have primary level okay so there is some mistake here okay so we have primary level secondary level and tertiary level primary level we have the sub district okay let us start from tertiary and then come to primary primary we have regional institute of ophthalmology tertiary right third okay so regional institute of ophthalmology center of excellence so we know the regional institute of ophthalmology it has been upgraded to the center of excellence it is at the tertiary level and also the medical colleges come under the tertiary level the regional institute of ophthalmology center of excellence and the medical colleges come under the tertiary level at the secondary level we have district hospital and ngo i hospital so at the tertiary level the urban areas and here this is at the district level districts we have sub district level hospital or chc district hospital and ngo i hospital at the primary level at the primary basic primary level okay at the primary level we have sub district level hospital sub district level hospital mobile ophthalmic units we know the ophthalmic units which are mobile mobile ophthalmic units okay mobile ophthalmic units upgraded phcs primary health centers and link worker or panchayats come under the primary level village right village level primary level village level link worker that is asha workers uh, and then this panchayats upgraded phcs uh, mobile ophthalmic units all of these workers link workers and mobile ophthalmic units phcs sub district level hospitals come under the village level that is primary level moving further to the school eye screening program so 6 to 7% of the children who are aged 10 to 14 years have the problem with the eyesight so we see that this is the age group of 6 to 14 years okay this is the age group of 6 to 14 years in the age group of 6 to 14 years 6 to 10 to 14 years i am extremely sorry 
so here let us see this is the age group okay the age group of 10 years to 14 years okay the age group of 10 years to 14 years about 6 to 7 percent children in this age group okay in the age group of 10 to 14 years 6 to 7 percent of the children have a problem with their eyesight the children are being first screened by the trained teachers later the children who are suspected of the refractive errors. So, after screening, we see some children, they are suspected of having some refractive error. So, those children who are having some refractive error, they are seen by the ophthalmic assistant and the corrective spectacles will be prescribed to that child. And this spectacle is given free of cost for the people who are below the poverty line. So, we see that what happens in the school eye screening program, the age group, the age group of 10 to 14 years, the children, about uh, 6 to 7 percent of this age group, they are first uh, are having eye eyesight problem, in which first the screening will be performed by the teacher, the trained teacher, followed by the ophthalmic assistant. This ophthalmic assistant will give a prescription about the corrective uh, spectacle to correct the refractive error. And that spectacle will be provided free of cost if the child is belonging to the below poverty line. Moving further to the collection and utilization of the donated eyes. We know nearly 68,000 uh 500 or 68409 donated eyes were collected for the corneal implantation in the year 2018 and 2019 so the hospital retrieval program is the major strategy for the collection of the donated eyes so we see that hospital retrieval program hospital retrieval program is a major strategy for the collection of the donated eyes the motivation of the relatives of terminally ill patients, accident victims is done. So, we see that under the program for the collection and utilization of the donated eyes, we will uh, motivate. We are motivating the relatives of the patients who are terminally ill, okay, having chronic diseases and now they are uh, terminally, they are coming to an end. Uh, so, the death is near terminally ill patients and uh, the accident victims and others who are with the grave diseases, we are... Uh, you know, motivating their relatives to also the patients to donate the eyes. Eye donation fortnight is arranged. It is organized from 25th August to 8th September every year to, pro uh, to promote the eye donation and or the eye banking. So, we see that we are... Uh, promoting the eye donation every year from 25th of August to 8th September. So, we see 25th of August to 8th September. Okay, okay, fine. 25th of August to 8th September, this uh, donation of ice is done. 25th August to 8th September. Followed by Vision 2020, the right to sight. Very important. Vision 2020, the right to sight. It is a global initiative which is done to reduce the avoidable blindness. So, those blindness which are preventable and curable have to be avoided by the year 2020. The blindness which can be cured or the blindness which can be prevented has to be now, you know, uh, should be reduced or it should be avoided. The blindness have to be avoided by the year 2020. India is uh, committed to this uh, initiative. The plan of action of the country has been uh, developed with these main features. So, we see that the plan of action includes the target diseases include the cataract, refractive errors. So, our target is to prevent and cure cataract, refractive errors, the childhood blindness, corneal blindness, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy. So, we see that we are initiating to reduce 
prevent and cure the blindness because of the diseases like cataract we are treating we are preventing and curing the diseases like cataract refractive errors blindness blindness childhood blindness corneal blindness glaucoma diabetic retinopathy human resource development along with the human resource development which is nothing but we are improving the skills improving the knowledge of the ophthalmologist and then we are also improving the infrastructure and the technology development is done at the various levels of the health system we see at the primary levels in the phc secondary level in the chcs district hospitals we are improving the human resource development along with the infrastructure and technology the proposed four tier structure will include the center of excellence which is uh, about uh, 20 so we see that the center of excellence includes the uh, professional leadership the, then we have training centers which are 200 and service centers 2000 and vision centers about 20000 so we see that under the vision uh, vision the uh, vision 2020 that is the right to sight we have a proposed structure for the primary secondary and tertiary eye care we have a four tier structure for the primary secondary and tertiary eye care to perform uh, the to take care the of the eye uh, we have this uh, four tier structure which includes the center of excellence training center service center vision center what are these vision vision center service center training center okay vision service and training lastly the center of excellence one zero two zero three zero and four zero fine Moving further, we see the proposed structure of the Vision 2020. You can see at the primary level, the vision centers are set up. That is about 20,000 vision centers are found at the primary level, are set up at the primary level, where the refraction and uh, prescription of the glasses is done, the primary eye care, school eye screening program, screening and referral services. We screen and if we do not have the equipments or if we don't have the skilled human resource, we uh, uh, refer the case to the uh, next level okay uh, so we see that school eye screening program screening and referral services primary eye care refraction and prescription of the glasses is done moving further this was at the primary level at the secondary level that is the service centers what were the centers we saw we saw the vision center service center training center and the center of excellence so the vision centers we saw in the vision centers we do the primary eye care and uh, refraction and prescription of the glasses school eye screening screening and referral services now at the service centers the service centers at the secondary level we perform the cataract surgery you see at the primary level there is no surgical operations and all only at the secondary level we go to the surgeries cataract surgery other common eye services like can be provided here that is prescribing the refractive errors and uh, providing glasses simple other common eye services facilities for refraction and also referral services if in case at the secondary level the uh, complication or the disease cannot be dealt then we refer the disease to the uh, next level okay at the training centers we have tertiary eye care which is retinal surgery we see the cataract surgery is performed at the second level tertiary level more complicated at a more higher level tertiary level there is retinal surgery corneal transplantation and glaucoma surgery training and cme so we see that uh, we have at the tertiary uh, tertiary level we have the training centers and again the tertiary level includes the uh, center of excellence that is 20 and we have cme research standards and uh, quality assurance we also have the professional leadership professional leadership continues continued medical education is done uh, at the center of excellence 
we are laying the standards and the quality assurance research is carried out continued medical education is provided the strategy development professional leadership is taught okay moving further to the universal eye health the universal eye health a global action plan was uh, done in the year 2014 to 2019 what is the aim of universal eye health the aim is to reduce the avoidable visual impairment again the aim is to reduce which is avoidable we need to reduce okay we should not neglect it the aim is to reduce the avoidable visual impairment as a global public health problem so we know that the visual impairment or the blindness the visual impairment is one of the major public health problem so the visual impairment or uh, we need to reduce and avoid we need to reduce the avoidable visual impairment as a global public health problem and to secure the access to the rehabilitation services so we need to secure the access of the people to the rehabilitation services for the visually impaired ones so for those who are visually impaired we need to improve the access to the rehab services okay rehab services under the universal eye health so with this we come to an end of uh, the program for the control of blindness the national program for the control of blindness i hope it is clear if you have any doubts put it in the comment section and if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe